Hey guys, how you doing? This is Margaret Setra and I'm here today to bring you the review for One Piece episode 962. Let's just get right into it and talk about the fight. The fight was okay. Yeah, and I know that's probably going to be an unpopular opinion. I know people are going to probably click off the video for me just saying that. But if you're still here, at least hear me out and hear my explanation for why I think that. So now, if you strip away the Rio that... um. Odin was using the aura that um that Usher Doji um had as well. I don't know what that was, but you know it was there. The background music, uh, just all the hype, just all the hype that you had building up when going into it. Cause I had it too. Don't get me wrong, I had it too when I was going into it. When you but when you strip away all those things, and look at the most important thing when it comes to a fight, the fight choreography. When you just strip it down and bring it, bring it, bring it all the way down to just that, you realise, you know what, you're actually onto something, because the fight wasn't all that. I would say there was no choreography, but because that fight took place, you have to say there was some choreography. When I, when I, um, what I mean by when I say there's not fight choreography, I feel like the animators do what they do do when they don't know how to choreograph a flight and that's just simply clashes in Dragon Ball Z it's a whole load of punch the kick in that fast repetitions and for one piece I guess if it's going to be a sword fight it's just <laughs> jump back go back in repeat that's what the fight was and what made it look so great what made it feel so amazing was the the auras, the the Ryu, the background music, the the weather, the weather conditions. <laughs> That's what made it so great. And the, like I said, that that hype was still there. And for you, it was probably the best bit of the episode. And for me, it is the best bit of the episode. But the fight was just okay. It wasn't all that. It, it could have been so much better. I'm not one hundred percent sure if they added anything to this scene. Um, I don't think they did because the pacing for this flashback is going really well so far. Um, so I don't think they did add anything there. But like I said in my review last week, this was a great time to start adding filler scenes if they wanted to fill anything out. And the fight choreographed right could have been really amazing. But we get what we get, and it's all right because I do remember mentioning last week. Oh no. Does Odin know the Ryu yet? Yeah. You know, where, where, where's that at? And we get to see it within this, within this episode, so that's cool. So, that's the thing I've got to say about the fight. If you're still with me, let's talk about the rest of the episode. So, this episode basically has Odin take over Kuri, bring it up to prosperity, and then after he's brought it up to prosperity, after, you know, Kuri is seeming a bit great again, because right now, basically, Kuri was the slums. The slums of one. So once he brought it back up, then you, now daddy wants to be putting, bring him back into his good graces. So he invites him over and then they we find out via, um, was it via narration? Yeah, via narration. That this is the last time that we so, see each other, ever spoke to each other. And we see Orochi there shifty in the background. And then the episode ends off with, um, we get to see the young white maid pirates. And now it's, it's cute. It's cute to see, you know, all the young faces of all the characters that we know, Marco especially. So that was cute, and that's where we end off the episode. Like I said, the pacing for this flashback is going really good so far. Part of me wants to say, yo, like, no, no, take it down, slow it down. Slow it down. Let us, in, let us enjoy, let us bask in the greatness of this flashback a little bit more. The pacing is going really well. That is one thing that is undeniable so far. Uh, we will have to, we should, we should slow it down really at some point. But it's more about finding the right place to do that. This fight was a good place. But there are other good places coming up. So we'll see what they do. That's really everything I've got to say about the episode. There was some funny bits. Some bits of the episodes I really did like as well. In conclusion of the, of the fight at the beginning of the episode. Even though I bashed on it quite heavy, quite heavily uh and those fights are simply just just normal humorous things for example that bit where Odin was like okay guys bye and he's talking to Neko, Dogstorm and Kappa and 
I don't know why, it's that, just that bit in general was more funny within the anime than within the manga. I think it's because just before that bit, there was like, there was background music playing and then Odin was like, okay, bye, and then they go inside and then they're like, let us stay. And another funny bit, bit in the episode was when we have the samurai, uh, I forget the, the scabbards, they're trying to go and steal some money from Yasu so we have that moment where we have um Raizo and he's like yeah this is how this is how to be a ninja guys this is how you be stealthy and then it's called they get caught, they get caught outright the last thing I'm going to mention that I really did like about the episode was that bit of the training montage with the scabbards I don't know why I think it's just because they upped the animation just a little bit but it was nice it was beautiful I liked I liked watching that and yeah, so we see the trailer montage with the scabbards where part of that montage was them just bettering themselves to be a better use to Odin. And we find out that Yasu gave them money for this purpose alone. And now I think part of the bettering of the scabbards is Kinemon's hair, hair change in colour. Now if I'm remembering correctly, when your hair is blonde within japan blonde okay the same blonde but still when your hair is blonde within japan it's like a sign of rebellion and it's usually something people do to themselves like you know they dye their hair blonde so i'm guessing at some point kinemon dyed his hair blonde and now that he wants to be more respectable you know he's brought it back to basic black <laughs> brought it back to basic black and yeah that's everything i've got to say about this episode Despite me bashing on the fight, I still think it averages out of a three star rating. Of course, guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please go to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.